Buried beneath layers of scorching earth lies a lost civilization so advanced, so enigmatic, that modern science still struggles to explain its rise, let alone its disappearance. This is the story of the Indus Valley Civilization. Flourishing over 4,000 years ago, it was silent, mysterious, and powerful. With cities that rivaled Mesopotamia, streets paved with precision, and drainage systems far ahead of their time. Yet, there were no palaces, no grand temples, no signs of kings, and for centuries we had no real clue who these people were. Until now. Deep within a forgotten grave, scientists unearthed something that would change everything. A fragile, elusive fragment of ancient DNA. But it was intact. What it revealed shook the very foundations of South Asian history. This wasn't just a genetic clue. It was a time capsule. A whisper from the dead finally answering the question that had haunted archaeologists for over a century. Who were the people of the Indus Valley? And where did they really come from? Around 2600 BCE, while Egypt was building pyramids and Mesopotamia was scripting laws, a parallel world was rising in the shadow of the Himalayas, the Indus Valley Civilization. Spanning more than a million square kilometers across modern-day Pakistan and northwest India, it boasted over 1,500 known settlements. Cities like Mohenjo-Daro and Harappa thrived, with populations exceeding 40,000 people. But unlike their contemporaries, these incredible cities showed no signs of royalty, war, or state-sponsored worship. There was just order, sophistication, and uniformity. Their script remains undeciphered, their rulers are unknown, and their disappearance was sudden and unrecorded. For decades, scholars debated their origins. Were they native to the subcontinent? Did they migrate from the Fertile Crescent? Or were they something else entirely? An isolated miracle of human development. Despite thousands of artifacts, the true identity of the Indus people remained a void in human history. That is, until science took a deeper look, not at their pottery or their seals, but inside their bones, inside their blood, searching for answers to one of the greatest unsolved enigmas of the ancient world. The breakthrough began with a single grave. It wasn't a grand tomb, but a modest burial site near the ancient city of Rakigari, one of the largest known Indus Valley settlements. In 2016, a team of Indian archaeologists excavated a 4,500-year-old skeleton. It was female, untouched by looters, and buried with care. At first glance, it seemed like just another remnant of a long-dead civilization. But this body held something incredibly rare. Inside her molars, sealed in time, was ancient DNA, perfectly preserved. In a region where heat and humidity usually destroy genetic material within years, this was a scientific miracle. For the first time, researchers had a genetic thread to follow, a real biological key to unlock the ancestry of an entire civilization. This wasn't just a find, it was the turning point. A single skeleton was about to challenge centuries of speculation. Where did she come from? Who were her people? And what secrets lay encoded in her ancient genome? A quiet grave was about to speak louder than any artifact ever could. Extracting ancient DNA is like chasing whispers through a storm. The Rakagari skeleton was transported under strict conditions to a specialized laboratory in South Korea, where scientists joined forces with geneticists from India and Harvard. Months of painstaking work followed. The teeth were cracked open in sterile chambers. Microscopic fragments of DNA, fragments smaller than a grain of sand, were isolated and amplified. Any contamination from modern DNA could ruin the entire process. Meanwhile, teams of archaeologists, linguists, and historians held their breath. 
This was the first complete genome ever sequenced from the Indus Valley civilization. There were no backup samples, no second chances, and the odds were stacked against success. But then, a breakthrough. Enough readable DNA emerged to build a full genetic profile. It was the scientific equivalent of resurrecting a ghost. They now had the ability to compare her genes with ancient populations across Eurasia, from Iranian farmers to steppe nomads, from early South Asians to Dravidian speakers. The moment of truth was approaching. Would this woman confirm long-held theories of mass migration? Or would her DNA upend everything we thought we knew? The results stunned the scientific world. The woman from Rakigari showed no trace of steppe ancestry. None of the genetic markers typical of the Indo-European migrations that reshaped South Asia centuries later. Her DNA was a unique mosaic. Part of it was related to ancient Iranian agriculturalists. But strikingly, the other part came from a deeply South Asian lineage one that predated any known migrations into the area. This wasn't a borrowed culture. It was homegrown. What this meant was profound. The Indus Valley people weren't outsiders. They didn't descend from Mesopotamians or so-called Aryan invaders. They were a distinct genetic population, rooted in the subcontinent for thousands of years. They likely spread farming techniques across the region not as conquerors, but as innovators. Even more astonishing, traces of this ancient genetic signature still exist in modern-day South Asians, especially among groups speaking Dravidian languages. It suggested a continuous thread of ancestry, stretching from the Bronze Age all the way to today. The Indus Valley civilization hadn't simply vanished. Its legacy lived on, etched in the blood of millions. So, let's picture it. Vast cities rising from the floodplains of the Indus and Sarasvati rivers. Brick by brick, a civilization took shape, without armies, without empires, without war. Instead, it grew through trade, engineering, and innovation. The people of the Indus Valley mastered urban planning like no one before them. They built multi-story homes, grid-patterned streets, and public baths with sophisticated underground drainage systems. But more than architecture, they built networks. Trade routes stretched from the Arabian Sea all the way to Mesopotamia. Indus seals have been found in modern-day Iraq. Shells from the coast of Gujarat were turned into jewelry in Sumer. These weren't just artisans. They were diplomats, merchants, and scientists. Their language, still undeciphered, may have seeded the roots of modern Dravidian tongues. Their genes flowed into neighboring populations. When the civilization eventually declined, perhaps due to climate change or shifting rivers, the people didn't disappear. They migrated east and south, blending into new cultures and forming the foundations of future kingdoms. What emerged was not the end of a civilization, but the birth of a legacy. For centuries, the Indus Valley was a ghost in the record of humanity. Its people were nameless, its culture misunderstood, its story unfinished. But through the fragile strands of ancient DNA, we've finally heard their voice. They were not conquerors, not migrants, but pioneers of a civilization born from the land they walked for millennia. Their blood flows through modern veins, their cities still whisper through the ruins, and their story, once buried in silence, now echoes across the world. Science has not only rewritten the past, it's reconnected us to it. The mystery of the Indus Valley was never just about archaeology. It was about identity about where we come from, and about who we really are. If this journey through time moved you, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and tap the bell so you never miss a deep dive into the hidden chapters of our human story. There are still so many secrets beneath the soil, and we're just getting started.
Thanks for watching.